Yo, what's up, self-published authors? Congratulations on getting that book written, getting it edited, getting it published, getting the cover art, all of that stuff, man. You have completed the project and you're probably thinking to yourself, what now? Well, I'll tell you what now. Do not, for the life of me, I repeat, do not make the same mistake that I made when I self-published two books, got them up on Amazon. I was so proud of myself, but I made one critical mistake that I want to save you from making. So let's get into it. Really quickly, if you don't know me, I am H. Cortez, also known as Cortez Hustle, everybody's favorite fatherpreneur and founder of I Hustle University School of Online Entrepreneurship, where I help part-time entrepreneurs make more money with less effort by deploying the right automation AI tools and systems into their business. Speaking of tools and systems, one of the tools and systems that I wish I had focused on when I published my first and even my second book, I still hadn't learned the lesson, is to leverage the power of sales funnels. See, I love that my book is up on Amazon. Gave me a ton of credibility, right? But here are some of the things that you don't get with Amazon. So uh, I got my mark out. Maybe I'm gonna draw something on the board, I don't know. But let's talk about some of the pros before we get into the, some of the things that you do not get. So number one, I alluded to this earlier. When your books are up on Amazon, even if you self-publish it, it gives you a ton of credibility, which I believe that every successful entrepreneur, especially in the online world, has MBAs, right? And no, I'm not talking about Masters of Business Administration, right? I'm talking about they have the A in MBAs stands for authority. And one of the ways to increase your authority is to not only write a book, but get that book up on a platform such as Amazon, because we know that Amazon will also share that same book across other platforms. Like one of my clients, uh, she was so excited that her book showed up on walmart.com in addition to some other places that we push it out to, right? So authority and credibility is one of the things that you get when your book is up on Amazon. Another thing that you get is fulfillment, right? Someone goes to Amazon and order your book. You don't have to do any of the fulfillment. You don't have to go to the post office. You don't have to package, ship, none of that stuff to the book. Amazon does all of that stuff for you, right? Which is super dope. I know, right? Uh, what else do you get when you put your book up on Amazon and it's sold through Amazon? You get the uh, credibility and authority. You get their fulfillment. You also get customer service, right? When, uh, the book is slow to arrive, they don't call you, they call Amazon because they ordered the book through Amazon. So those are some amazing benefits of putting your book on Amazon and having Amazon sell and fulfill the book. However, let's look at the trade-off versus you putting that same book on your own sales funnel. Now, I know some of you guys are thinking, well, Cortez, that means I have to buy some sort of system that my funnel is uh, going to live on and you are absolutely correct, right? And uh, I recommend you join iHustle University because we give you the digital empire system uh, and that is a funnel builder, website builder, a uh, whole bunch of tools rolled up into one plus you get coaching and consulting, all that stuff uh, included as, your, uh, as a student of iHustle University. But one of the things that you have to understand in the online world, if you're gonna play in this space, please write this down. If you are not building a list, you are not building a business, right? When I heard that for the first time, I didn't know what people were talking about, man. I just kept hearing this list, this list, this list. What the heck is the list? Well, the list is a contact list, right? Well, guess what? When someone goes and buys your book from Amazon, they get the contact list, meaning Amazon collects their name, phone number, email address, and physical mailing address. Why? So that they can remarket to them over time. However, if you sold your book through your own funnel, you would collect that information. So what else can we benefit from if we sold our books through our own funnel uh, versus selling them through Walmart? We know we can get the contact information. They will give us their name, phone number, email address, and mailing address so we can mail them the book. But Cortez, that means that we're going to have to do the fulfillment of the book. And you're right. 
And I don't know if you're like me, but when I first released my books, I didn't have dozens and dozens and dozens of sales coming in right away. So it wasn't like I didn't have the capacity to, to fulfill my own books because a ton of sales were not coming in. In fact, part of the reason I wrote the book was to get the credibility and the authority, not necessarily to make a whole bunch of sales, right? So can you do your own fulfillment? Yes, you're collecting a name, phone number, and email address, but you know what else that Amazon gets to do when you sell your book through their platform that you do not get to do? Have you ever ordered anything on Amazon and saw at the bottom of that order page, because you bought this, you may also like that. That's called an upsell or cross sell. Well, guess what? If you sold your own book through your own sales funnel, you, my friend, will get the ability to offer upsells. Now, I don't know about you, but I have a coaching program. I have a software that I can sell along with my books. I have other digital products that could be sold as companion products with my book. But if I only sold my book through Amazon, I lose the attention of an engaged buyer and I lose an opportunity to upsell them that companion product. So in my opinion, I know you have to pay for a platform to build your funnel on, but in my opinion, the ability to upsell your customers on additional products, particularly if you have a digital product, which I think everybody who has a book should have at least one digital product. Can you guess what that digital product should be if you're an author? Put it in the comments if you can guess what it is, right? Before I reveal the answer. Listen, you already created the book. You wrote it, it's printed, it's able to be shipped. Well, what other digital product can you have to go along with that book? Well, you should at the very least have the ebook version of that same book because you already have it. It's called your PDF file. That's all an ebook is, is a PDF file of your printed book, right? Another digital product you probably want to have is the audio book version of your book. Book a little studio time, go into a quiet room and record yourself reading your book pay a few dollars to have someone mix and master it so it sounds good across all devices. And now you got a digital product that you can upsell with your book. Don't let Amazon upsell that. You can upsell that on your own sales funnel, right? What other digital product could you have to go along with your book? I'm glad you asked in such great questions. Well, guess what? If you have the printed copy of the book, the ebook version, the audio version, how about if you had a video tutorial or a video course of you actually teaching the concepts in the book? See, all of those things could be upsells within your sales funnel, right? Speaking of which, I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but in his classic book, Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill, grab a boatload of coaching and consulting clients because in that book he gave the address phone number for people to call if they wanted him to coach them on the uh processes and principles that were in the book well guess what when you sell your book through your own sales funnel you can on the thank you page say hey how would you like for me to coach you on the principles and the precepts in this book and hold your hand through the execution of them? See, you don't get to do that when Amazon sells your book alone, right? Now, Cortez, what if I understand what you're saying? I probably want to be building a list. I get that, but I don't want to do any of the fulfillment is there a way that I can have the best of both worlds? Yes, glad you asked that as well. So at the very least, if you joined our host university, you would have access to a funnel building platform and we would teach you all the steps to building a successful sales funnel. So let's just say this is Amazon 
www.ebaymartin.com, right? And this is the checkout page to your book. With a sales funnel, you can do something as simple as this. You can create what's called a landing page or a lead capture page, and that could have a video of you, or this could be an image of your book, right? You're gonna ask for their name, phone, this is optional, right? And email. This is going into your database so that you can, over time, continue to nurture and build a relationship with this person because that's what building a list is for. I don't care what you sell in your book, through your book, or if it's just the book, every entrepreneur is in a relationship business, right? So you wanna be building a relationship with this person. So you collect their name, phone number, and email address, and when they hit submit, right? Then it takes them to this page so that they can check out at amazon.com. You got the best of both worlds. You collected name, phone number, and email address so that you can build a relationship with them over time. Then you sent them to the checkout page so that they can actually buy the book and Amazon does all of the fulfillment. And guess what happens if you sell 10,000 copies of your book, 5,000 copies of your book? What happens when your next book comes out? Guess what? You got 10,000 names, phone numbers, and emails. 5,000 names, phone numbers, and emails of people who you've been building a relationship with all while you were writing that next book. Then you send them all an email sequence saying, hey, my new book is coming out, my new book is coming out, my new book is coming out on this particular date. And then all of a sudden on that date, you say, now the cart is open, everybody go buy this book. And out of the 10,000 people that you've been building this relationship, a thousand of them buy that book day one. How would that make you feel? That's why they say if you're not building a list, you're not building a business because you don't have people that you're nurturing and cultivating a relationship with over time that are interested in what it is that you have to offer, that are interested in you as the brand, right? So you can have the best of both worlds. Amazon does the fulfillment. You collect the name, phone number, email address, and then send them to Amazon for them to fulfill. But you miss out on those other steps. If you did it all, then instead of sending them to Amazon to check out, you could send them to, uh, let's just do it this way. What if this was your own checkout page? And this was, instead of Amazon, this was you.com. And they check out and they bought the book there. And then from that checkout page, you sent them to a special offer page. And that special offer says, hey, you bought the book, but how would you like the companion course that goes along with the book? where I share with you the concepts and training via video that support the book, right? What if they say no to that offer and then you send them to your thank you page and that thank you page has a video and a button. That video says, hey, thank you so much for supporting me and getting this book. I believe it's gonna help you with whatever problem it is that you solve. I don't know if you know this or not, but I also do uh, group coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching, or whatever your services is to go along with this book. I would like to talk to you about how we can help you further. Click that button below and book a meeting on my calendar to learn how we can further assist you, right? So you miss out on all of that if Amazon is doing your checkout. If Amazon is the only place that people can buy your book, you're not getting any of the additional benefits that you could be getting that will more than make up for the cost of investing in 
a platform to build a funnel on the time that it may take to learn how to build a funnel or hiring somebody like your boy to build your funnel for you. So I just wanted to share that with you because uh, I probably could have a lot bigger list if I understood this when I released my first book and my second book, didn't really understand this until later in the game. But now I am diligently and vigilantly building my email list because I want to build relationships with people like you so that I can help you take your business and your brand to the next level. Speaking of which, I've got a free training for you in the description. Click the link, put in your information, right? Get access to that free training on how to build a powerful, profitable online presence for your business. I think you'll be impressed with the value that is displayed within that free gift. So my thank you to you for watching this video. Till I talk to you next time, I want you to get your money up because you absolutely can do it. But more importantly, you deserve to do it, each and every single one of you. Now hustle up.